Bisphenol A is everywhere. It is a chemical compound used in a lot of plastics, water and soda bottles, and even baby bottles. Varying amounts of BPA have been found in 93% of Americans tested. Although the American Chemistry Council says BPA is safe, a new study suggests it may not be. Dr. David Meltzer led the study. A quarter of the population with the highest levels of BPA were more than twice as likely to have diabetes or heart disease. Dr. Meltzer and colleagues at Peninsula Medical School in Britain analyzed data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control. The CDC had surveyed more than 1,400 adults. The researchers found that the higher the level of BPA in the participants' urine, the greater the risk of developing certain diseases. Professor Tamara Galloway. The measurements that we're making and the findings that we're seeing are reflecting a long-term exposure to a very low level over a long period of time. Professor Galloway says the researchers do not know why BPA seems to increase the risk of these diseases. They have suggested that bisphenol A acts like a hormone or it disrupts the actions of hormones, particularly estrogen, and that might be having some effect on insulin resistance and on the way that fat is distributed in the body. The researchers emphasize that this is just one study. While the findings add to evidence that BPA may be toxic even at low levels, the researchers say further studies need to confirm it. The study appears in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The study's release coincided with a hearing held by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to allow for public comment on the chemical. A senior scientist with the food agency said at the hearing that the chemical is safe, but she also said the results of animal studies cannot be dismissed and more research is needed. An outside panel appointed by the agency will study the chemical's safety. Carol Pearson, VOA News.